Number 85. What is the effect on the concentration of ammonia, hydroxide ion, and the ammonium ion when the following are added to a buffer basic solution of equal concentrations of ammonia and ammonium nitrate? Okay, so in this case, we have a balanced equation already. If you need a recap as to why we're using this equation, always go back to uh, number 85A, in which we just discussed how we get here. But for the case and purposes of this question, we need to find out what's going to happen to the concentration of ammonia, which is NH3. That's our starting material here. We want to know what's going on with the hydroxide ion, which is always OH minus. That's one of the products. And we want to find out what's going on with the ammonium. That's NH4 plus. That's also one of the products. Now, when they're asking for what's going on with the concentrations, is the concentration going to increase, decrease, or remain the same? No effect. Well, let's see. It all comes from what we're adding. In this case, we're adding HI. Now, HI is one of your six strong acids, right? So this will dissociate 100% into its two ions. And in this case, the two ions come from the two elements, right? You're going to break off your H plus ion. So we have hydronium ion here, and we have the uh, iodide ion, right? I minus. Now, the easiest way is seeing that maybe one of these are in your balanced equation. But if we look, H plus is not in this equation, and neither is I minus. So a lot of students would say that since none of these are in this equation, that the effect, there would be no effect on any of this because it doesn't mess with the equation. However, there is a catch. So I'm just going to put this over here. Now keep in mind that the basis of an acid-base reaction, right? The basis of acidity and basicity comes from hydronium and hydroxide. If you're, if you have H plus ions, H plus ions are always going to want to react with OH minus ions because together, when they come together, they form water. Now, in this case, you increased or you added HI. So that means that you secretly added hydronium ion concentration. So I have way much of hydronium ion. But now, if I have H pluses, the H pluses are going to try to find the OH minus in my balanced equation. And that's when you have OH minus here. And what's going to happen is the H plus is going to strip away the OH minus so that it can make the water and it could keep making water. So what's going to start happening to the OH minus in my NH3 equation if the OH minus is going somewhere else, right? Literally, once I take this away, I don't have it anymore here. So the OH minus is going to decrease right? You're stripping it away of this equation so that it can go to the H plus concentration to form the water. So now I know that my hydroxide ion is going to decrease. Now from Le Chatelier's principle, I can go back and use my rules to find out what's going to happen to ammonia and ammonium. So if I drop the amount of something, I have way too little. And when you have way too little, in this case, you have way too little on the product side, you will always shift to that same side. So in terms of which reaction is going to be overpowering, you will shift to that side. So in this case, we're going to the products. So anytime that you're going somewhere, you're always going to be increasing it back. So in this case, the NH4 would have to increase. So the ammonium ion would increase. And since you're going towards the products and you're taking away from the reactants, the ammonium would actually drop. The ammonia would drop. And that is your three effects. That's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. We still have a couple of more for this number, so hang tight if you guys are on the playlist. 
And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Just gets the word out there in the YouTube universe that this channel exists and just makes us know that we're doing our job right. So thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.